Here's an example on how to improve an existing parser and was uh, created by my friend Mitch Hale in the UK. So if we look at these Linux messages, uh, nothing wrong with them, but in the actual message itself, you will need to go in here and determine what is it, what was the command that was successfully executed. In this case, is who am I? If we return again, we need to go into everyone to see is wget in here, uh, and in the last one of these three examples, and we want to keep this uh, short, is the curl, right? So the, the the best thing would be to have three different events ID and events name that allows us to say, well, this is wget, this is uh, 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 who am I, etc., etc. How can we do that? That's the uh, intention of this uh, video. So we start by grabbing those events and then we click here to go to the DSM editor. So we are in the... Notice that the DSM editor already called the Linux OS because it knows those events and again nothing wrong, they are parser map, but we want to make this events ID is something like syscall wget, syscall who am I, you know, syscall curl. How do we do that? It's actually not that hard. What we want to do is that we want to uh, add new events IDs. So let's look for the event ID right here. The category is going to be the same. And we are going to add events ID. So let's say that we want to map we, let's actually assume that the logs begin all the same, so we're going to take this as the place, I'm going to paste it in here, uh, and then we want to move, and there are videos that I have done on regex for uh, for uh, security. Let's do the non-greedy, and that's gonna move us. Should move us all the way until we find this uh, com equal. Let's actually go there. Com equal, and we want to capture that command that comes next. So let's open a set of parentheses and grab, actually put the closing uh, double quote in here and let's grab everything that is there. We do that by doing a non-greedy capture as well. You see the different colors in there, we are capturing that part in here and the event name that we are going to give it, instead of that syscall success, what we are going to call it is syscall underscore, and then we're going to put capture group one, dollar one. Then we click OK. And notice that the event ID has been captured exactly the way we want, but that has a consequence, a, a bad side effect, that we need to create QIDs. Remember in the video for uh, that uh, of this uh, this video series, um, we let me actually show the vid the, the actual video because I didn't remember the name. Is this one custom event properties, and we ex explain that. And obviously, when you look at this uh, document, the link is on the video description of all my videos, uh, you're going to find these and other videos that uh, I have done recently with Mitch. So what we need to do is create now QID records so the event name which is part of that QID record will have not only the right command but also whether this is suspicious and the, the high level and low level category of that. So let's move into event mapping and now we need to add 
mappings, as many mappings as uh, events uh, we have. The event ID is going to be uh, sys call underscore. Let's do the first one in here. Who am I? Who am I? The, le the event category is going to be the same Linux out server that we had before. We are not changing that. Linux out server. And then we are going to choose a QID, but we're going to create one. Remember, we need to populate it with the right high level category and all the things that are part of the QID record. You can put things like command execute it. Who am I? And then we can put the here something like this is often done as reconnaissance. Oh, you know, you put the whatever you think it is appropriate and now let's select the high level category for that which uh, there should be a recon one here yeah, there it is and the low level category it's going to be what type of reconnaissance unix reconnaissance that's the best category and we're going to increase the severity of this one to seven we click save, we click here, OK, notice that there is a new QID name, so that is uh, created. We click here, create. Now, we have fixed the first one, and to keep the video short, uh, I'm going to do the same process, but I'm going to uh, kind of speed things up. I'm going to pause the video and put all the right uh, information in here. So this one is going to be sys. Let me actually pause the video. So we're going to choose uh, QID. We create a new QID. So I selected this high level, this low level, put the severity, put some meaningful information, click save, click OK, and click create. Now let's do the same with the curl. And actually, if we we make this bigger, we can see that uh, actually, however, I made this larger, this is what we want to get. Let's do the last one. Again, we're going to do a call it like this. We call choose ID, create new ID record. Again, description you probably want to do better than that, uh, but this might be a good category. Both high level and low level category be the same. We click uh, save, create new QID. No, actually, we, we had it already. We click create. We click create. We are done here. Let's save our work. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the log activity. Let me put the right filter and go to the console here, VSSH, and run the logs that Mitch provided me for this. If we go here to Curita, we now see that those events were just uh, executed. And in the event name, we have something more meaningful. Again, it's a little easier to make rules and things that fire and give more information to the user. Uh, so this is an example of how you can improve an existing uh, DSM. And as you can see, it's actually very simple. Thank you very much, Mitch Hale from the UK, for providing this example to us.